Hey, this is Kevin Kitchens with Once Upon a Game, and today we're going to take a look inside of Legends of the American Frontier. It's a Richard Launius game. It is by Game Salute. Um, first thing you might notice is there's some cards here. They are taped to the outside of the box, and that's how it arrived. Uh, my understanding is these are some uh, corrections or some exclusives that were supposed to be in the box and didn't make in the box, so they just, they just permanently taped them there to the box. So I'm going to go ahead and try to remove those because I don't want to take the shrink off and have those cards um, get lost. Ah. So this is Architects of the Underground Railroad. Um, and there's something here. It's a, it's a frontier card. I'm not 100% sure on what the, what, the, what the story is on these, but I'm sure it will come to fruition. Anyway, I uh, heard a lot of good things about this. It's kind of a storytelling game, uh, probably a good educational game, uh, exploring um, the legends of the American frontier. You start off with character, and you build their uh, their life story through through the game. So let's just take a look quick at what's inside, and go from there to the back. It is listed as three to seven players. I know you can completely play this solo. Uh, 13 and up, 90 minutes. Get this open. Shrink wrap wants to stay on the box. There we go. Get the fingers under it. It's like doing unboxings, it's like Christmas. Opening gifts. All right, this one I've had for a little bit and just never got a chance to uh, to crack the seal on it. Beautiful artwork here. This is by David Wright. Nice with him coming over the hill. Pat mules, mountains in the background. Very awesome. Uh, all right, here we go. It's a big box. Big big box. All right, rules of play. That's. That's it. Kind of small. Watch it be microscopic print or something obnoxious like that. But no, 20 pages. Pretty big print. Uh, three player rules. Always go to the back for some reason first here. The final scoring stage. Game is played exactly the same with three players as with four more. The following changes. Um, I believe there are some uh, there are some solitaire uh, rules online for this. Uh, or you just play three characters to the best of your ability. I don't know. Got to find out. But I've heard good things from people playing it solo, so. Uh, very well laid out, looks like. Nice colored pictures. Here's the components. You got 40 of this. You got action cards, skill cards, upbringing cards, adventure cards, 24 reward cards, legacy cards, hardship cards, and failure cards. I expect to probably visit that deck a lot. Map board, and you got eight characters to choose from. All right, so the rule book doesn't look any more complicated than, uh, say, Legendary or something like that. So, all right, so that's what's in the book. Adventure summaries. Ah, solo adventures. Each player plays their skill cards and adds their relevant skill points. Stealth destiny card and use True Grit to redraw, redraw a destiny deal or avoid penalties. So once all players on a solo adventure. Oh, wait a minute. I guess solo adventures are just a single player of the group of players, not just for a single player. But anyway, like I said, I know I've seen people playing this. So uh, there's your player reference. I like one of the things that they did that's awesome here. I will, I will mention this because they deserve praise for this. This book is not this big with a bunch of flippiness. It's a small, manageable book. The reference card... A little larger, but that's fine. I can set off to one side. Rule book needs to be a normal size rule book, not box sized rule book. All right, so here's our here's our pretty players. And I said we had eight, so there's ten people here, and uh, so we'll see how that works out. So obviously your player characters, I would guess. All right, and you got a sheet of wow. There's a lot of uh, not complaining. But just observing 
Uh, there's a lot of wasted space on here for counters. Usually you see them pretty close to the edge. I like how they did the stripe of purple to make sure that the purple was all on the counters. It's kind of cool, but just to, just noticing that they, uh, but it's not an expensive game, but it's just, uh, anyway, not a complaint. Probably first player marker, something like that. Again, beautiful artwork. Really well produced. Um, it's got different uh, points you're earning. You've got some uh, of those true grits or something. That's what they call it here. There. Yeah, true grit. All right, so we've got uh, fame markers. And you've got happiness markers, the flower. And then you've got wealth, which is gold. And you got status, which is the Liberty Bell. And then you got true grit. So these are the things. So fame is like a statue. Cool. All right, so we've got two counter sheets. Um, obviously, these are different extra counters. This is now nothing. This is now something. Got the game board. Kind of uh, it's nice. It's just simple. What it needs to be. Let's pull it out here. And the game board right there. Got the far west, the frontier, back east. I guess I should have gone that way. Back east to the frontier, to the far west. All right. It'll become clear playing the game, but it's a nice, sturdy board. It's really well made and great artwork. Great, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, aesthetic in the game. Nice design. All right, so we got some wheels here. These look like kind of like uh, you know X-wing dials. So yeah, here's the here's the numbers. So you apparently mount these. You know, mount these to the player cards. And ones come off. These are a little thin. I'm going to go and just punch one. I don't know where that other one went. Wow, I just punched two without even realizing it. So there they are. They are they are pretty thin. I don't know about these other counters. They seem a little thicker. They're going to mount currently here to the to the player cards. And this obviously this uh, this insert air quotes insert is a. Uh, Pretty lame. It's like a folded piece of corrugated cardboard. So that's fine. I'm not, probably not going to use it anyway. So, uh, <clears throat> character stand, I guess. So you got your, you got Sarah. And we have Pale Feather. Randolph. Annie. Get your gun. Steven. Jedediah. Tomas. Thomas. Samuel. Daniel, ooh, what a boon for this game. And Nathaniel, it's very awesome. So obviously these, your personality counts, put them out on here, and you're gonna turn it, so that's very cool. I assume it's gonna come with little spinny things too, like, uh, like X-Wing does. And there they are, so these go together. Uh, with X-Wing, I always put a washer between them. I don't know if I need to do that with this or not, but usually you get a, a, a yeah, a, not acrylic, like a, a carbon fiber washer, and you put between the two cardboard layers with the with the uh, the nut going through it, and it makes it spin a little easier, keeps it from getting stuck on the cardboard. Little tip there, you can get them on Amazon. You get a whole bunch of those, but you got six per player card, player board. So you probably need at least sixty of them, I guess, and that's probably both halves in one bag. All right, so now we got, so you saw the cardboard uh, True Grit markers. It also comes with these really cool. Uh, metal True Grit markers. And those are like three dimensional. Those are really, I don't know if you can see those or not. Those are really nice. Good heft to them. In fact, they dropped easily, so. You get a bag full of those to use instead of, because apparently my understanding is uh, in, in studying the game is that uh, the uh, true grit, uh, uh, the number is limited to the number in the game. So you either use these or the cardboard ones you can't use. You can't use all of them. We have a single die. It has different features now. The die is kind of hinky. I mean, the, the, the paint kind of is coming off. I mean, it's functional. The true grit marker there it's it's missing some uh, paint there on the upper upper side there but uh, 
yeah, it's still functional now, as long as these, uh, as long as this blank side was supposed to be blank, which I'm sure it was. And we'll know that when we read the rules. All right, so cards. So we read what all the different types of cards might be. So we'll just uh, get three, four, five, six, seven, seven decks of them. Uh, so here we got some frontier cards and some frontier cards. Great art. There you can see it in slight. Very cool. Let's uh, get rid of this one. So it's kind of always nice when it has a little uh, pull tab, like chewing gum used to have. But it's even nicer when the pull tab actually works. You can get a grip on it. There we go. Alright. So we got Frontier. Oh, okay. It looks like Annie has a deck. So Annie gets her gun and a deck of cards. And there's Daniel. He's got some cards. Alright. Cool. So obviously these are different actions that can be played, I would assume. Okay, now this Architect Master Builder of the White House. Back East, that looks like the Frontier card that's in here. So these are obviously uh, mission cards or something for the different sections of the board that we saw. Yeah, I really hate sometimes when I'm talking about this because when I don't know what it is, but I'm just kind of just trying to show you what it what is in the box. So um, obviously you get a very crappy uh, insert. Bunch of decks of cards that will be used to play the game. So cover more of that when I get a chance to review it. But for now, I'm going to just put it on pack and show you that you get the cards, you get the inserts, the very cool True Grit tokens. They die, it does roll, even though the color's coming off of it. We got this one stand, so I don't know if it's for a character. We'll find out what that's for. All your player boards and your dials you put on the player boards. You get the cool game board to go with the player boards. And then two sheets of punch boards, or uh, two sheets of tokens, two punch boards of tokens. Player icons, summary sheet, a very well thought out and properly sized rule book. And that is what is in the box of Legends of the American Frontier from Game Salute, designed by Richard Lonius. And now it's closed. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.